We've done sand, we've done boxing, we've done polythene. A big difference on this slab is now we have to use the hot edge insulation. Yo, we're on site. We're on the Wainui 6 slotter and the boys are back to work. We're putting sand down, slab, and then we're going to start building the back four units. With these townhouse jobs, you've definitely got to have a different process to how you'd build a single standalone house. And so we're just working through that. Got to work out some of the landscaping before we peg ourselves in to a hole and can't get out of it. The thing with these sites, and we learned it when we did the five lots in Upper Heart, is that the more you build, the tighter the access gets. And so you really got to think about how you're going to get stuff in and out and what you're going to do there before you get too far into the build. Uh, even on this one here, we're learning lots about what we would do differently next time. I think that's the key is even with the best laid plan, you still just like, oh, I didn't expect that. Next time I'm going to do this. And that's how you just get better and better at doing your job. Always thinking, if I was going to do this again, what would I do differently next time? A big difference on this slab is now we have to use the hot edge insulation on the edge of the slab. It's mandatory as uh, meeting the H1 calcs. Uh, we have used hot edge in the past. That was a owner decided upgrade. This time it's included in the plans as a minimum. Definitely adds an extra cost to the job, extra product, extra labor, uh, but you're gonna have a better house at the end of it. The whole idea of it is that the edge of the slab sucks a lot of heat out of the building. Smarter people than me have worked out how much. Apparently it makes a massive difference. Would be good to see how much of a difference it makes to the final product on site. Basically, it's a piece of polystyrene with a concrete finish on one side. It then gets tied into the slab. So we pour the slab. We take the boxing away, the hot edge stays there and becomes part of the building. If you're loving these videos, go ahead, click subscribe, let your friends know about our channel as well. We've done sand, we've done boxing, we've done polythene, we've done hot edge insulation on the edge of the slab, and we've laid pods and steel and we're ready to pour concrete. As well as that, we've also cracked on with subdivision services. We've put in septic pumps for all six lots. All of the main connections are now in, and we are working on the final landscaping on the outside of the building before we close ourselves in. We're gonna pour concrete next week and then we're cracking into building the back four lots. And we're gonna do that first and get those closed in before we move on to the front two lots. Remember this is gonna be six townhouse buildings. They're all gonna be incorporated into the client's rental portfolio. It's really cool that we're able to recycle the old house around the corner at Y Street. That one's just finished. And now on this site, we're introducing six new properties to the system. I don't know if you know, but right now in the Hutt Valley, it is really hard to come by a rental property. We're about to add six more to the market. Mm -hmm.